Okay, we are ready to start the third and final video. Um, this is to show you how to use Dreamweaver, also made by Adobe, and to edit your uh, Adobe Photoshop template so that you can make your subscription option boxes. Uh, we're going to open it up. Okay, there's our template right there. Let's just pull that out of there. See here it gives you a source code. Here it shows you the actual box. What we want to do is just put boxes right here. We're going to look down here. It says this is a width of 272, height of 38. We need to memorize that. Click delete. Height 38. Width was 272. And click enter. We also do the same thing for email. Okay, it's uh, 264 by 37. Normally they're the same size, but I must not have gone all the way to the edge when I did this the last time. So next, what we want to do? We want those images that are we just deleted. They're going to become background images. Notice here it says BG. That's what it's going to do. We're going to click here on this folder and bring up our images. The one that we have in use right now is the email one. So what we want to do is click on email. See how I put that back in there? Next one, click in there for the name. Click on the folder. This is the name right here, so we're going to click there. Next, we're going to make sure forms is selected here. This is our text box. We're going to click that there. Just click OK here. And then the same thing right here. click OK and there we formed our text boxes now what we want to do is simply just uh, save it hit control S and it's saved that's all we need to do as far as Dreamweaver goes now let's go to our browser and let's open that file up and you're going to see it's kind of going to kind of look a little funky so we need it we need to correct it and at the same time we need to uh, add our uh, codes for uh, for like if we have an autoresponder email or whatever where our uh, subscriptions will go to go to my documents this is going to be under my pictures you'll see I have a lot of stuff in here to my pictures go down then template templates 21 and there fine we got to our folder see it looks funky there so what we're gonna do is right click and do the source code what we want to do right here is add the form code here form and since everyone has different oops different autoresponder we're just going to do a generic you can add whatever the method is and whatever the action is later check your uh, autoresponder and see what what their web form looks like to get an idea do that there now this right here is what's making everything look funky. What we're going to do is we're going to remove that because that's not needed. Where it says name here, we want to leave that. And then we're going to type in her name. Make sure it stays between the apostrophes. We get rid of this form. We're going to do the same thing down here. 
delete that. There's his name here. Instead of doing name this time, this was our email address, so we're going to do email. We get rid of this form here. Then we're image where it says button right here. We're going to say input type equals the image name equals image and lastly since we began with form just before the table we have to end with form after the table make sure you put your slash in there then we just save it we refresh our browser there we go and you'll see here you can click here and that little error turns into a hand, that means that's working fine. And we see the name's working fine. Email addresses are working fine. So everything's ready to go. That's all you really need to do. Now, we want to zip all this up. So let's go to our, um, our folder that we have all our information in. And we will make a copy of this PSD file. And then we want to paste it inside this folder here. And we want to zip these all together. I have a zipping program called Zip Genius. You can get it from zipgeniusit.com. It's free. And you just simply highlight all these three. Right click. See where it says Zip Genius. Add a, add a template21.zip. That's what we want to do. And there you have it. You have now created your own subscription opt in template form. And you can make these and sell them on the web. You can do whatever you want with them. So I hope you learned a lot from this. I hope this was a blessing to you. God bless and thank you for watching this video.